This video looks at rationalising certs, a key part of cert work. It uses one key fact, which is that if we do root 5 times root 5, for example, the answer is just 5. The square roots effectively cancel out. Now, we don't like fractions with the square root underneath the fraction. It is not good or easy to divide by a third. However, if we times top and bottom by the third, then the top becomes 5 lots of root 2, and the bottom becomes root 2 times root 2, which is just 2. So the answer, which is an equivalent fraction, i.e. the same number, has the square root on the top, which is seen to be a better form, and this has therefore been what is called rationalised. So, in these simple examples, you just times the top and bottom by the third from underneath. So the second one, I would times by the root 5. So the top just becomes 7 root 5. Now, there's a 3 there, but there's also a root 5 times root 5. Well, root 5 times root 5 is 5, and there's a 3 there, so it just becomes 7 root 5 over 15. Again, the third is passed from the bottom to the top of the fraction. In the third example, what we can do is we can times by root 8. So, we get 5 root 8. Now, root 8 times root 8 is 8. There's a 2 there. 2 times 8 is 16. Now, that's not actually the best answer. Because so root 8 can be simplified. Now, root 8 is the same as root of 4 times 2, where 4 is a square number. So this is the same as root of 4 is 2, so it's 2 root 2. If you're unsure of this, then see my separate video on simplifying thirds. So root 8 is 2 root 2, so this is the same as 5 lots of 2 root 2, all over 16. Well, 5 times 2 is 10, so 10 root 2 over 16, and 10 sixteenths is 5 eighths, so 5 root 2 over 8. It has been rationalised and also put into its simplest possible form. This video looks at two fairly routine third questions. The first one is adding two thirds, where the number in the square root is different. Now the method here is to first of all simplify the thirds. So, root 48, I look for the square factor of 48, which is 16, so it's 16 times 3, and root of 16 is 4, so it's 4 root 3. And root 75, the square factor is 25, so it's 25 times 3, root of 25 is 5, so it's 5 root 3. So this question boils down to 4 root 3 plus 5 root 3. 4 plus 5 is 9, so it's 9 lots of root 3. So A is 9 and B is 3. So when we add thirds, we must, where possible, make them simpler, so we can get the same number in the square root to therefore add them where possible. The second one is an algebra, is a fraction involving thirds. And we have a 7 plus root 5 in the bottom. And the aim of this is to get the third away from the bottom of the fraction. And to do this, we use a standard technique. I'll put some brackets on the top and the bottom. And I'm going to times the top and bottom by the same number. That keeps the fraction the same, but will hopefully make it simpler. And what I do is, I do one simple step. I times by the bottom with the sign changed. So 7 minus root 5. And what I do to the bottom, 
I must also do to the top. Now we can now work this out actually quite quickly because 7 times 7 is 49 now root 5 times root 5 is just 5 there's a minus so it becomes minus 5 and the clever thing here is, is that the 7 root 5 and the minus 7 root 5 cancel out so we're left with just 49 take away 5 which of course is 44 we then also work out the top. Now 7 times 7 is 49 and 2 root 5 times 7 is 14 root 5, so plus 14 root 5. 7 times minus root 5 is minus 7 root 5 and finally 2 root 5 times minus root 5. Well root 5 times root 5 is 5 2 times 5 is 10, there's a minus there, so it's just minus 10. So I'll extend that fraction line right across, so the answer becomes 49 take away 10 is 39. 14 root 5 take away 7 root 5 is just 7 root 5. And 49 take away 5 is 44. So there we go. The fraction has been simplified. In other words, the third has gone from the bottom of the fraction to just being in the top of the fraction. This video looks at a couple of key concepts involving thirds. Now the first one is to simplify a third. Now to do this we look for the highest square factor of 75 which is 25 times by 3. So 25 is the highest square factor which goes into 75. We can then split this into two separate square roots. Now we can work out that the square root of 25 is 5. So therefore the answer is 5 lots of root 3. So this third has been made simple. It's been written in the form a root b. Now the second part asks to rationalise the denominator. Now to do this we times the top and the bottom by root 3, which was the third at the bottom of the fraction. Now 6 times root 3 is just 6 root 3. But root 3 times root 3 is root of 9, and root of 9 is just 3. So therefore 6 over root 3 is the same as 6 root 3 over 3. Now, there are two threes in the six, so this just becomes two lots of root three. Then in part C, we're asked to find the mean of these three numbers. Now the mean is to add up and then divide in this case by three. But we know that root 75 is five root three. There's another five root three. And then a two root three. And these must then be divided by 3. 5 plus 5 is 10, plus 2 is 12. So this just equals 12, lots of, root 3, all over 3. And 12 over 3 is 4, so the mean is 4 lots of, root 3. This video looks at two typical third questions. The first is to rationalise the denominator. Now to do this, we times the top and the bottom of the fraction by root 2. Now 5 times root 2 is just 5 lots of root 2. But root 2 times root 2 is root of 4, which is just 2. And this answer is it. We're finished. And what we've achieved is we've moved the square root from the bottom of the fraction to the top of the fraction. And we've therefore rationalised the denominator. Now, in part two, we're asked to expand and then simplify this expression here. Now, a square just means the same bracket times by itself. So, we have to work out that, take away 
this. Now then, if we expand this bracket, we get 2 times 2 is 4, we get a 2 root 3 from that, and another 2 root 3 from there, which is 4 lots of root 3, and then root 3 times root 3 is root of 9, which is just 3. Now, if we then expand the second pair of brackets, we get a similar type of thing. 2 times 2 is 4, but now we get a minus 2 root 3, and another minus 2 root 3, which is minus 4 lots of root 3. And then root 3 times root 3 is root of 9, which is 3. There's two negatives, so it goes positive, so it becomes plus 3. Now, a lot of things say will cancel off, because 4, take away 4, cancels out. As does 3, take away the 3 here. So we're left with 4 lots of root 3, take away minus 4 root 3. Well, two negatives go positive, so 4 root 3 plus 4 root 3 becomes 8 lots of root 3. So we've expanded and then simplified to get 8 lots of root 3. This question has two fairly fiddly third questions. Now the first part asks us to simplify a fraction involving thirds. Now then, root 6 cubed just means root 6 times root 6 times root 6. Now root 6 times root 6 times root 6, the first two will just be equal 6, so that just equals 6 root 6. Now root 24 can also be made simpler. It's got a square factor. In this case it is root of 4 times 6. Now root of 4 is 2, so it's 2 root 6. So therefore this can be written as 10 lots of 6 root 6 all over 2 root 6. So the root 6's both cancel off. So it's 10 times 6 over 2, which is 60 over 2, which equals 30. So the final answer is an integer. Now the second part asks us to add together two fractions involving thirds. Now the method as always is to put brackets around the fractions. We then want them to share the same denominator. So this fraction requires a 4 plus root 5, which I've put at the bottom, and must therefore do the same on the top. This one requires a 4 minus root 5, and must therefore do the same on the top. They now share the same denominator. Now then, 4 times 4 is 16. Root 5 times root 5 is 5, with a negative. The other two parts will cancel off. So the bottom just becomes 16 take away 5, and then the top is just 4 plus root 5. In a similar way, the second fraction would become 4 minus root 5, all over, again, 16 take away 5. Now then, 4 plus 4 is 8, root 5 take away root 5 cancels off, and then 16 minus 5 is 11. The answer is therefore 8 over 11.